What the Home Depot integration does for you is prevents you from having to go to Home Depot while you're in House Pro and then having to clip all the product details. So in the past, you've probably used our House Pro Clipper tool that you see over on the right hand side to pull all of the product information, including pricing, size details, pictures, et cetera, into the clipper to get that into House Pro. Now it's available for you right inside House Pro. So we have the entire Home Depot catalog of over 3 million products. Um, and so you're able to access all that directly and you get to skip that step of actually clipping the product information because it's already going to be there for you right inside House Pro. So to get things started, let's talk about um, using your Home Depot Pro Extra account. So you can actually access the Home Depot catalog without ever linking your Pro Extra account, but you definitely should um, because you're going to want to be able to access your trade exclusive pricing, right? So to do that, over on the left-hand side of House Pro, down under company, you'll see that you can access your library. So there's my items, which are all the items that you've added into your catalog in the past. And then right here under catalogs is where you're going to have access to the Home Depot catalog. And this is where you'll set up your Pro Extra account as well. So we're going to choose Home Depot. And then at the top right, you'll see the call to action to link your Pro Extra account. So we're going to click right there to link our Pro Extra account. And then you just enter in your phone number that's linked to your Pro Extra account and hit continue. Now it's going to send you a verification code. Um, so that way you are able to verify that it's you. 482089. Okay, perfect. So now when I hit verify, it's going to take me to a new screen where I can set my default, um, default store location. So it's automatically going to pull based off of your current location or you can choose um, based off of your zip code, city, or state. So maybe if you were in Las Vegas and you wanted to look for stores in Las Vegas, you could choose and just type in Las Vegas, set your store, and then your pricing and all of those details are going to be pulled from that Las Vegas location, right? Now, up at the top right-hand corner, you'll see your profile with your number. So that's going to let you know, hey, you are signed in. If you ever needed to sign out, you could also do it from right there, and that will unlink your Home Depot Pro account from House Pro. So that is the main way to manage those Pro Extra settings. Now, if you want to just kind of peruse the Home Depot catalog, you can use that catalogs button again, go to Home Depot, and then you'll see that the, it has changed slightly. You see Home Depot Pro, you have your store up here, you know that you're for sure logged in. And then you can kind of scroll through and find um, the products that you need to use, maybe on your estimates, your invoices, or your selection boards. So we can take a look, say building materials. I want to look at drywall. I want to look at drywall sheets. And now it's going to pull up all of the items for you in that category directly from Home Depot, right? And you'll notice there's a few different pricing details here. You see this one just has a price versus this one has live price. So this is just going to be that standard price. So there's no Home Depot Pro discount on that item. Whereas this one where it says live price, that means that there is a Home Depot Pro extra discount on it. So all you need to do is tap that live price button and it's going to reveal that live price for you um, it, right there. So you'll see I tapped. It switched and now you can see the discounted price. So you're saving four bucks per piece of drywall on that. From there, you can hit add to your library and that will automatically save into your House Pro library so that you can use it again in the future. It is important to note that when you save it to your library versus pulling it directly from Home Depot, it is not going to update the price inside your library. It's only gonna have updated pricing if you're pulling it from Home Depot every single time, if that makes sense. So if you click add to library, that's automatically going to save for you. And so you're able to really go through the entire Home Depot catalog, search for items, sort and find specific items and um, find the ones that maybe you use the most that you want to save and be able to use over and over again. You can also see details so you can click each item and view additional info about that item. So we want to see all the pictures, maybe um, we want to see all the product details or the specifications for it you can go through and see all of those details about that specific product, as well as how many reviews there are, make sure that your other contractor friends are using this stuff, that sort of thing. So now the most important part is how you can use this to build estimates. You know, you wanna be able to make money, right? So we need to, we need to start there. So we're gonna go inside this project that I already have built called the Clark Project. And I'm gonna go to my estimates tab. So over on the left-hand side, 
Under planning, I'm going to go to estimates. Now we're going to open one of my existing estimates and you'll see that I already have this built up with different things. So I have some material and labor, I have some labor costs, and then I have actual products. So all of the products that you see here are selection products that I've pulled in that I'm planning to use as finishes in my project. And I actually pulled them directly from the Home Depot catalog, but you'll also see down at the bottom, I have concrete, drywall, um, drywall glue, all of those things pulled in directly from Home Depot. So you're probably wondering, how do I do that, right? So over on the right-hand side, this is gonna be your best friend when you're building your estimates. So there's multiple options that you can do here. You can create estimates using AI. You can pull items from your personal library, which is where anything will live if you saved it to your library from that last page we looked at together. You'll see that that's right here now. And then below that, you'll see brand catalogs. So at the top of brand catalogs, you see the Home Depot. And then below that is our average price catalog, which is an, a house tool that we developed so you can add in placeholders for labor and material pricing, and it's actually data that's provided based on AI. So if you need actual products, you want to go to Home Depot, and that average price catalog is going to be more generic products that you could use as placeholders and then fill in with actual products later. So up at the top, we're going to click Home Depot, and again, you'll see, okay, I'm on Home Depot Pro, I'm logged in, I have my store, I can change my store if I want to. And I also have quick access to manage my Home Depot Pro Extra settings. So if you needed to get in there, log out, switch counts, those sorts of things, you can do that from here as well. Or if it's your first time linking Pro Extra, this will also be right here so that you can log in for the first time from right here on the page. So now we're looking at the Home Depot catalog. You'll see that you have the same categories that you saw on the larger page before, but you'll be able to find the products that you need to include. So maybe we want to look at doors and windows. We want to look at exterior doors. Um, I need a new front door for this project. They want an iron door with glass. We're going to click all the way through and we'll find a different example. It looks like it's freezing up on me. Let's go back. Okay. Here's some doors with glass. We can filter, we can see specific colors. We can narrow by price, by size, by manufacturer, all of those details to really narrow it down to the products that we want. And then again, you can scroll through and see which product you wanna use. I love this door here, I wanna use that. It looks like the main price is 8,900. I'm gonna to click to see the live price so I can see my trade pricing and it's 7,558. Perfect, that's within my allowance. And then you just simply click and add that to your project. And so now you can see that that door is automatically pulled in. I have the, the name information, the description. Um, it's even going to have the pricing details here. If you have the SKU number column turned on, it would have all of those details as well. And so it really saves you that step. You didn't have to clip all of the information for that door. It's automatically there for you right inside House Pro. So it really makes that experience a lot faster for you when you're sourcing things, when you're trying to build an estimate, you can really build that much quicker, um, which is fantastic. And then from there, you know, you can automatically create an invoice inside House Pro. So all of those items would pull onto that invoice, or if you needed to create an invoice for from scratch, maybe there's just a small thing that wasn't on the estimate that you still need to do. You can actually use the um, Home Depot catalog there as well. So let's create an invoice together. And then you'll see over on the right-hand side, all of your items are there. Anything that you've added in the past will be here, as well as access to those brand catalogs. So you're gonna be able to see all those same categories again, access what you need, Maybe you need to add, um, maybe they forgot that they need a new mailbox. You can add that in, pull that information directly onto the invoice, and then be able to, uh, let's see, we'll find a mailbox with a post, and then be able to use that invoice, send it directly to your customer, and even get paid online. Um, so that way you can get paid super quickly for the things that you're buying, right? Okay, so the next piece of it is more of our visual tools. So some of you may or may not have tried our mood boards functionality before in the past, but this is really a more visual tool for really for your customers. You know, you're going to be able to build a vision of what the project could look like for them. So you can actually use Home Depot here as well. So over on the right hand side, again, you can use brand catalogs and it's going to give you Home Depot once again. And then you can pull in things that you might want to present to your customer early on to show them, hey, these are some tile options, for example. Let's say 
this cement tile. I want to find exactly what I need. And then I want to pull that image onto this mood board to see if they like this cement looking tile for their backsplash. Now that's going to have the ability to do background removal, all of those fun things. So you can make a really pretty looking mood board. Maybe if you have a designer on staff, they'd prefer to do that. Um, whereas you do the estimating, all of that's possible inside House Pro. And you can pull all of those products directly from Home Depot. So you'll see this whole board was created from products from Home Depot. So they have lots of great options. Um, so it's really great because it's going to give you the, the construction materials that you need, but it's also going to give you the pretty that your customer cares about, right? So you can really make a nice experience for them there. And then you're able to actually share those mood boards directly with your customer so that they can kind of see where the project is going and visually what that could look like. From there, um, you would want to move into selection boards. So you can actually use the Home Depot catalog on your selection boards as well. So you can create selection boards to one of two different ways. You can do them by room or you can do them by allowance. So maybe you want all of the plumbing on one board, all of the lighting on one board, you can do that. Or if you prefer to go room by room, you can do that as well. You'll see right here in my example, I have done it by kitchen, so it's by room. And so you can pull in all of the different things onto your selection board. Like I've pulled my 3D floor plan on here. I've pulled my mood board on here. And then I've also pulled in products directly from Home Depot. So it's really nice that over here on this right-hand side, it's a very consistent experience for you. So you're gonna have access to the Home Depot wherever you are in the system. So that way you can pull those items directly onto your documents or your selections. And so you'll see I've used this selections tool to really build up this kitchen. I have all my appliances from Home Depot, all my plumbing and all of my lighting from Home Depot. And then I'm able to send this to my customer to get approval on those items. So they're able to comment to me and tell me, OK, I didn't like this because I don't like black and gold together. They can say that and they can decline it. Right. Or alternatively, the client can go in and approve it. And so this really links the process all together. Then you're able to use those Home Depot products and then be able to get those client approvals all within House Pro. So it's not such a disjointed experience for you. You can kind of bring it all together um, with your customers. And then additionally, up at the top, you know, since you have these Home Depot items and you can use them in this way, it's also tracking your budget up at the top. So if this light fixture gets approved, you're going to know how much you're spending on this specific room in an all encompassing way. It's keeping that total for you so you know what's being spent and where. Do we have any questions so far, Katie? Yes, we do have one question. Okay. Um, does the Home Depot catalog have updated inventory of in-stock items? Yes, it does have updated inventory of in-stock items. Yes, it okay. does. Perfect. Um, that's it. Okay, awesome. And so from here, we'll move into our selections tracker. So if you haven't used our selection tools before, there's two different tools for selections. So we have the boards and we have the tracker. The boards give you a way to organize what's going to happen in the project and share that information with your client for approvals. And then the tracker really turns into a procurement tool for you. It allows you to organize and see all of the product details that need to be ordered, be able to track your margins on those specific products, um, update the order status, and then share and disseminate that information to the people that need to know about it. So you'll see here that since I built my project of Home Depot items, you'll see that, that it will show you the vendor right here. So this is actually a really easy example. Um, if you had multiple vendors, you can also organize it by vendor. If you want to see everything from Home Depot versus everything from another vendor, you can kind of group it and view it however you need to. Um, but this makes it really nice because you can see who I need to order things from, what that price was. If I had a markup on it, you can see the markup information, um, what the profit is per unit, what you're selling it to the client at, all of those details, as well as the documents that it's linked onto. So if this is on an invoice, on an estimate, has it been invoiced? Was it on a change order? All of those things are going to be there for you. So you can quickly click and access those documents that are related to this item. If you scroll to the right, you'll see all the specifications like the SKU number, the brand, what the finish is, all of those things that you, traditionally you would have to clip using that House Pro Clipper, but they're all already here because of the Home Depot catalog integration. 
Now you'll see under order tracking. This is really awesome. You can go through and say, okay, this has been ordered. This has been delivered to the job site. So that way you're keeping an updated status report of where every product is that you need to order for your project. And so you, if you have a whole team of people, you can all stay very informed and in the loop of what's happening for your project and where the, what the status is of every product. Additionally, you can add your own custom fields. So if there's things that are important to you, um, you can add maybe like installation details, like maybe there's something specific you need to call out about this gas range, or maybe there's an installation height for a pot filler that you need to fill in. You can create a custom field to say whatever you want. So that way you can capture the information um, where like exactly how you need it. And so I, I love the table view personally because it allows you to kind of see everything in an all encompassing way. And so you can kind of scroll down and say, oh, OK, what did I miss? Right. Another way you can use this is to um, actually organize it by approval status. So if you need to see, OK, the client hasn't approved these appliance, this appliance package from Home Depot and you want to sort it by approval status, you'll get a succinct list of all of the things that are approved or the ones that are pending. And so that way you're able to kind of steer the conversation and say, hey, client, you haven't approved these five things. I need approval by X date so that we can move forward with the project. So that's gonna make things really nice for you as well. And then from here, you can actually convert items into different documents. So maybe you want to take these three items and go ahead and invoice your customer. This one's already included on a document, so I can't do that. but you can actually convert them right there and go ahead and convert them onto an invoice and send those to your customer. Um, so that way you're recuperating the money from purchasing these products. And then the last thing here is going to be um, the export functionality. So if you want to download this as an Excel spreadsheet, you totally can. And then you can really manipulate it and do whatever you need to with it. Uh, my personal preference, especially for contractors and designers, is to download as an FF and E schedule. Um, so that's gonna give you all of the product details in a really pretty PDF. So that way, let's say you want to organize and view only the plumbing, view only the plumbing fixtures, you can kind of filter down the information and share that with your plumber, right? So you can export that into that PDF and send that out to them. So I'll show you what that looks like quickly, but we'll just click right here hit download, and then it's going to create this PDF for us. Um, so that way the field crew has the information that they need, right? So I didn't sort this one at all, but you can see it's pulling all of that same information that's automatically there from Home Depot inside our system. So it's got the vendor details, the SKU, finish, manufacturer, as well as the product description. And you can toggle on and off which information you want to share. Maybe with the customer, you don't want to share SKU details, those things. You can do that um, and really make this granular down to what you do and don't want to share with those um, customers or third parties, vendors, that sort of thing. So this makes things really nice for you to be able to share information in a really succinct way, but still get the point across. The Home Depot integration is a really great way for you to be able to add those products really quickly onto estimates, change orders, purchase orders invoices, et cetera, and be able to build those um, different documents quickly without having to ever go clip the information. It's already there for you inside House Pro. You can link that Pro Extra account so that way you're getting access to your specific trade pricing. Um, and then it really just expedites that process for you overall.